Yo, 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 Bully and the Beast podcast. Yo. I'm L'Oreal. This your boy, Wax. And we're back. back now, for the pussy-ass motherfucker that keeps writing weird-ass comments underneath our Instagram, you're fucking sick. Like, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this nigga or yeah. what his problem is with us, but he has a vendetta. And it's not even us, because he really just keeps talking about you. Yeah. But the <laughs> other day, oh, me? Yeah, he keeps saying, I mean, he talks about the show, but it's mainly towards comments and things that you have to say. What'd I say wrong? And I don't know, because I, I don't think we understand what's going on here. This shit is like a fucking comedy podcast. This is what we do. That's what it is. We like, here it's, to entertain y'all motherfuckers. It's not like... Ha, 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 funny, but it's funny as shit, yeah. right? Because it just is what it is. And, like, for some reason, he thought that this was, like, a, a informative. Um, Do I look informative? No, you don't. <laughs> you absolutely look the opposite of that. So that's why I'm a little confused. Yeah. He's like, we need the positive, informative black uh, shows. What, what content is this? Wow. And who, it's like, bro, who fucking pissed in your Cheerio? Yeah, how did he look? Do he get any pussy? Did I he think he's any? a bot. like that, And oh. that's the craziest thing because okay. he said whatever about us. I'm about to pull it up. He said whatever about the show. And then he had mad likes on it. So people were saying stuff like they were backing it. I'm like, hold on. Let me do some investigating. Let's see what's going on. I, I mean, look at it and they all bots that liked his stupid ass comment yeah, with his yeah, bitch ass. So basically that's just him. Yeah. So he's creating tension for some fucking reason. He doesn't like you. Did you fuck his bitch? It got to probably be something like that. Because I don't mess with nobody. I'm out of everybody's way. I'm probably, probably, if we fuck the same girl, that's probably me on my nasty shit one of these horny nights I had. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I probably don't go after the same girl. Like, if a girl coming to my somewhere and trying to talk to me, and as soon as I ask you for a naked picture, something that's exactly how fast I don't want to talk to you ever. If I give you some conversation, then I, but that might be one of your girls, maybe. Okay, so first of all, this motherfucker is a weirdo. His name is Daryl. Daryl, bitch Now, Daryl with your bitch ass. First there of all, this go. is Daryl. All go. his whole page is pictures of his baby, which looks even weirder because yes. he cuts his head out of every picture and will slap the shit out of you, Daryl. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, he said, do black folks, first of all, Learn how to fucking spell and write, nigga. Might Do black cousin. folks ever gonna talk about like what the fuck? That don't even make sense, bitch. You like you need to learn English before you. Is talk that a daughter that. he has? Because we been trying to change. Well, listen, they got daughters. Do black folks ever gonna talk about positivity and respect? This all because you said uh, once you nut, the people points go down. This is truth. But he must never nut it before. I see you got a baby. That might be the other girl. The other I'm not going to lie. That shit has 638 likes. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. You, you did something in life. You let you let your you let your boy fuck your girl and, how, and now you taking care of the baby. And you got a bunch of fucking likes on your shit. That probably yeah. ain't your baby, son. Yo, but why? What are you talking? But when I looked at all of them, it like legit was like people with no followers. It was like all him. Yeah, that's it. That's you know what I mean? So I don't know where his vendetta you is with you. Yeah, he so has sneaky, a problem. You snuck yourself out of not having that baby. That baby is not That's yours. not his baby. He probably stole that baby. <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky motherfucker. You I'll snuck trust my that baby. bitch ass Daryl nigga. Yeah. Either way, um, what you been doing this week? Like, what's up? What you got coming Just up? flying, flying, flying all over the place, man. Trying to make some moves. Trying you to make things happen. You don't look that happen. fly. Oh, you know what? You I look don't a look different. a fly. I don't look what fly. What are those on your feet? Gore-Tex? No, these are Target. I mean, uh, Publix. I get everything for Publix now. So Publix got me some new kicks. Publix does not have boots. Yo, Publix got Publix boots, boots, white tees. I got the, I got these from Publix. I got this from Publix. I work there now, so I go to Publix all the time. They do not have clothes. Go to nigga. the one in Carolina, man. I'm, I'm trying to get the store together. Wax, that's that. Where are those? These are uh, Publix on boots. What are those though? No Publix. more Tims. What happened to Tims? I still got Tims, but you know, I wonder where the Publix get. I'm promoting them. They told me to come out here and promote their shit. First of all. Publix. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like, what you There's no what? way you got boots from Publix, my nigga. I, I go all to Publix my gear all from, the time. No, the one in Carolina, we starting it there right now. No, the, yeah, this nigga is I work shit. there now. I'm telling no, you. No, you do I'm not. Be, I'm in there. You know, listen, anywhere I go somewhere, I'm always go talk to the head why guy. Why are you mad annoying? Like, why can't you just say what kind of boots they are? They Publix boots. 
All right. I'm just going to move on because I want to know what those are. I'm going to put them on Instagram and see if anybody knows. These are Publix. So I thought they were Gore-Tex because, like, that's the jersey of you. What are these These boots? These are Publix. I'm Googling them because I'm really boots. just like, if it say Publix, I'm going to fucking die on this ground. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're bringing into the fucking uh, store now. They starting inside Publix inside of South Carolina where I work at. Nigga, that's just a Foot Locker. Publix. Oh, you got a couple dollars. Publix. No, nah, I'm not going to lie. Wax got a couple dollars. These is a little more than Tim's. Where you get, what you, what you been doing? Publix. It's not Publix, my <laughs> nigga. They got this shit on Essence. You get some money. Publix. Right, Essence whatever. and Publix is kind of the same thing. That's where they're getting all this stuff from. I'm going to just let it go. That might be the flyest thing you've had on since we've seen you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Who put you on? You got a new boo? Me? <laughs> no. The nigga next to you. Yes, nigga. Nah, nobody like me, man. I, I kind of feel, really feel that. Um, You know, remember I used to always put on my post, wax can't get nobody, I can't mm -hmm. get nobody. And I really can't get nobody. Like, it's, I'm like, why nobody don't like me? I was like, should I just go out there just start doing like six month girlfriends or something like that? Six month girlfriends? Yeah. Just What's there, that? Just like... be my girl for six months and then get out of here. We both, we like each other for six months real hard. We don't cheat on each other. No, don't jump in nobody's DMs. Don't send no titty pictures. I don't send no meat pictures. And, um, you know. After six months is when it really start getting good. Nah, no, no, no. Six months. The first six months. Is the like, first six mm. months is fire. But then yeah. after like, when you hit six months, you're like, yo, it's really been six months. And then you turn it up. Nah, you get rid of that person. You get rid of them so you can miss them for the rest of your life. That's real Why love. Why would you want to do that? Because that's real love. I feel like when I miss you, it's like, oh, I can't wait to see you all the time. So if I'm all, I'm all you're already here, I can't get that feeling. I can't wait till you old and alone because, like, <laughs> 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 because that's what's been happening. Like, you can't just go through life like that. You know, like, it's always the guys like you who, like, when they get old mm -hmm. and they get sick or they by themselves, they be like, you know, I should have. I should have wiped up that damn Tiffany. Uh, yeah, I should have wiped up that damn I, I, I hear Monica. You. I should have wiped up that damn Tasha. Now, listen, you're right, but I'm a, I am would call myself uh, the modern-day coward. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm going to keep he it real. He said it, not listen, me. And like, I'm going to keep it real because to. I'm just so scared. And I, and I, I can't say it's my karma because I always kept it real with everybody. But I just, that feeling, you know, I'm, I'm just a coward. I hate that that hurt feeling. That I feel like if I could control my feeling, I'm not going to get in a relationship again. Nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, that is like you're scary. And I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of guys that are like that. Like mm -hmm. if you ever been through something, it's almost like y'all take it out on everybody else for the rest of your no, life. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to take it out on them. I just want to be like, you know what? If I'm by myself, I'm like the coolest person in the world. Only people that talk shit and be mad at me is the motherfuckers I was fucking with. Like, what the fuck is going on if, if I wasn't fucking Because with they you? know you and they know you ain't shit. <laughs> like, these other motherfuckers don't know you, so of course you cool, nigga. Once a no. nigga get to know you, you be like, this nigga ain't that cool at all. No, no. It's like, yo, it's like, no, I guess it's if you had a baby by me or something. Like, other than that. But, <laughs> but then that's showing your girls. real colors, no? No. Yes, no. it is. They know no. you better than everybody. No. Because I think it's a lot of girls, it's like, if I stop being with you, and then that's when you end up having a problem with me. I don't never have a problem with girls that always have access to me. I got access, girls have access to me for years and years. We still the coolest motherfuckers in the world. And we did the exact same thing that me and, and other girls did. Y'all didn't me. have a baby. Once you have a baby, that's when you're going to find out everything about somebody. Yeah, that, right? mean, that means the girl got you by the balls and she got full control. There ain't nothing but that's say. in your mind and that's probably what you buck against. And that's probably why everyone you have a baby with, you have issues with. Because you're like, oh, you got me Not by all the of balls. Them. I, ain't you got, got, I ain't got issues with all of you them. You don't? Not all of them. You only got two and I think you have issues with both. So what's I ain't happening? got issues with both. I ain't got issues with both. You, which, did something happen in the midst of... Jesus is real. I don't know. Which one? Jesus only one Jesus. Both? So you're good with both? Yeah, I'm good with both, man. I'm good with both, man. I've been praying. So like I said, I've been praying a whole lot more. And just, I think time tells everything. Time heal wounds. Time just, you know, I think it's, we all looking at the bigger picture now. I think we was looking, we was all being a little selfish at one time. And I was trying to tell you that about yourself, it. but you didn't want to admit it. But we all got selfishness in it. We all got cowardness in it. It just all depends on. People was attacking me and everything. Like, you don't know that situation. I'm like, I do. He's being selfish. <laughs> I do not. Nah, I mean, it wasn't always me. I yeah, mean, but you played a part. I, will, I, I definitely played a part. And that's it. the thing. Like, when you play no part, 
then the other part could kind of like diminish. But when yes. you play even a minimal part, it's still like a fight for who's going to win. And I think that's what I a bow. lot of shit happens in relationships. That's why mm -hmm. I be trying to tell. Like, even when I'm talking to my friends about certain things, they're like, all right, so which way is it going to be? And I'm like, I'm not against this nigga. Like, me and yeah, I'm on yeah, the same yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, so, like, not. it ain't which way is it going to be. We're going to fucking figure it out. So who, who usually bow out? Me, I am bow out. I bow out all the time. See, but I don't feel like that's healthy. Like, and to be honest, like, when you do that, I feel like that's like a Band-Aid, right? Because you still going to feel whatever way you feel. Yes. So, like, I have an issue that I'm going through, and it's like, um, my nigga feel this way, and I feel this way, uh -huh. right? So it's like, we keep bumping heads on the same fucking thing. Like, keep bumping heads. But everything else is great. But Peace. this this one thing, we keep bumping heads on. So the agreement is to come to a middle ground, and still we have not figured out what the middle ground is. It's hard. But this is new. It's a it's a new thing. Like, all right, yo, we gonna figure out middle ground for this. But like I had to talk to him about it the other day and I'm like, look, before it boils back up, because you know yeah, it's going it's coming to back up. let's figure out this middle ground or it's gonna boil back up. You can only keep boiling back up so much before that shit flow over the yes, motherfucking pot. Yes, for sure. Like, you could keep blowing up, blowing up, and mm -hmm. then it's like you could bring it, back, it back, down. back down. But, like, stop doing that. Don't wait till it boils up for you to figure something out. Yeah, and time is just the water going up higher. So when you start boiling up higher, it's like it's going to definitely overflow. Exactly. You know so it's so. like we got to figure it out. But I think with us, we, like, avoid a lot of things. Like, you we don't like to. that. You try to. Because I don't. You want, I mean, I want good days. I feel like if I could control a day and I could have 24 hours, if that 24 hours is good, my months will start being good. You know what I'm saying? But if those no, you, hours but you sweeping good, some shit under the rug. It's like a pile of dirt. That shit is still there. So it's kind of like you got to address the shit the sooner the better. Because if not, like you that's got, my cowardness. So you, you right. want a 24 hour good or you want a lifetime good? Is that's what I'm saying? Never like fixed. you're right. It's not fixed. You just keep pushing it off. And I think with guys, that's what y'all do a lot. And I I'm not, I mean, like people that. say I'm biased when I say stuff like nah, that. That's but that's in my experience that I feel like y'all be like, all right, I'm going to push it all the way to the edge and then I'll address it. It's like, nigga, get it the fuck over that's with. That's why I think a lot of married married men is not happy because they allow their wife, and I'm one of them, I, they allow their wife to just, all right, she won. All right, she won. Yeah, it's, that's just, not just right. Agree. That's not right. But, but if you argue back, you're going to lose. And if you win that argument, bro, you're Why would you lose. even... That's what I'm saying. That's the problem. This is what always is the problem. You're going to lose what? Like, y'all motherfuckers are together. What the <laughs> fuck do you mean you're going to lose? It should be... We win together. Like, not I lose, you lose, we. That's what the problem is. I wish is. every female felt like that. They have to win. If they lose that argument, if they lose or you catch them out or something like that, you're going to pay for that. Some but sometimes I feel like that. Like, I feel like me, the way that I am is like, I am always used to having things more my way. Uh -huh. And now I'm like, why do, like, this shit is always your motherfucking way, nigga. Because the way, the way I am is uh, I don't, like, even though I could debate things, like, uh -huh. we know I'm good at that. But Sheesh. nobody wants to really argue. Like, it's a difference nah, between, like, debating it. something and arguing. When you yes. arguing and you feel fucked up and you can't sleep. Who the fuck wants to feel no like way. that? And we Nobody. both feel the exact same way. So I, I don't want the other person to feel like I don't feel like that either. Like, nah, I but y'all be acting like y'all don't feel like we, that. Y'all like be too. crying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be crying and shit, acting like nothing wrong with y'all. But that, because I know that y'all be feeling the way because like we I talk to my homeboys too. and y'all be in y'all fucking it. feelings, but y'all won't tell the bitch? Nope. That's sick. Nope, I don't want you to Because we be telling y'all, hey, not <laughs> everybody, but like I know a lot of people that are like, like me, I'll tell you how I feel. Like Nobody want to be in a vulnerable stage. You know what I'm saying? Once you get vulnerable. No, y'all don't want to be in a vulnerable stage. Vulnerable. He got me saying it like that. <laughs> vulnerable space. Nah, no, none of us want to be there, and that's kind of wild. I mean, we do have to get it together. Like I said, I think we all got coward in us. I think it's you. I mean, I take, nah, I nah. take my, I, t I take my cowardness. Like Just I said, and, and I apologize to anybody that you know I was really a coward too. What is that like? Non-confrontational, right? Um, yeah, man. I just, I just be like, ah, right, you got it, and I just, even though it ain't, ain't resolved, I just get out the way. But why does a discussion about what you got going on with the person where y'all have different opinions? Why does it have to be a confrontation? It That's what I'm saying. It's a discussion. We just it is, but it's all, it, it starts turning into that when you strongly 100 percent feel like that, and I strongly 100. Well, you 100 percent got to get somebody to understand why you feel how you feel. 
And that's it. That's that problem is y'all don't like opening up or people don't like opening up. And then when y'all finally do it, be because motherfucker about to leave your ass. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait, baby, I'm yeah, gonna tell yeah. you everything. Yeah, you're a cat against the wall. Yeah, you but why I mean? y'all? Yeah, that's bad because that's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That's like real toxic. Because what it is is you like you have the opportunity to make the shit cool, but yeah. you wait until it's not cool to then open up. Only when I know that's that you, weird. Only when I know you know better. If I know you know better, I see you do it and I won't say nothing. But if I don't, if I if I don't think you know better, then I correct it right then and there. But if I'm like you know better, fuck that. I mean, then, then I hold it and then I some, hold it for so long. Sometimes people got different things. They think different things. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean by no better? Like, it might be something in your mind that's a, like a violation that I might not think it is. So you got to explain something to people. Like with me, we already know I got a smart ass mouth. So yes. nine times out of ten, if you say something to me, <clears throat> say I feel away. This is something I do that's probably not good. But like, I'll say something negative a little bit as a jab. Mm -hmm. But it's like really how I feel, right? It's yes. like. Like, mm -hmm. I'll be like, say we were supposed to go to Applebee's on Tuesday. You tell me we're not going to Applebee's. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, you like, yeah, I'm about to go eat with my friend. Oh, but you can't go to, you, you know, because we as long as you don't go to Applebee's, because we yeah. know you don't fuck with that. And it's like, damn, yo, you always got something smart to say. Always but it's like, jabber. but it's not that. It's more so like you got to look behind that like, oh, well, why is she saying that? But if you don't care that much, you're just going to look past it. It's like, oh, I fell away because you ain't go with me to Applebee's, nigga. I mean, little stuff like that is peace. I'm but some that people, that, that'll, that'll, that'll fuck about, it up. I'm talking about all things blatantly like you scratching my car with, with a with a. Uh, but a, then that's a the you need to leave. But no, not, not directly that's what they doing, but I'm saying that much so to where it's like you know better. You know not to scratch my car. You know not to do that. You I know mean, not to do that. I mean, some people just, I don't, it's not like that, though. <laughs> some people, it's like you really still got to tell them. Like, it's certain things that I think people just naturally know, but they don't. You get what I'm saying? Like, so sometimes when you're dealing with somebody, you literally, physically got to go through everything. Like, I don't like when you do that. And stop a motherfucker right then and there. Like, I, like, like I have to tell somebody, like, you don't like the comments? I don't pay attention to when I say them. I just say them. Yeah. So when I say it, say something to me. Yeah. Be like, yo, I'm not really feeling like you see you just did it right so there. So you think we all got different minds for real? No, Wax. We got the same one track mind. So what color is that? Your color, you know boys are colorblind. No, I'm just saying we all know. What that color do you think that is? I know that's a wall is red. I know that's black, and I know this light is white. And I'm saying I'm talking about stuff like that. That but we like, know what, what color is this though? You get what I'm saying? Like that. Lucious. See, I wouldn't have said that. I'd have been like, that's like a purple. I wear purple. Yeah, you look like Barney <laughs> and Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga Grimace over here. Shit. Yeah, no, um, that's but what I'm you saying. You're trying to tickle my fancy. Like, that's too easy if black and white is cool, but, like, yes. that's purple. You get what I'm saying? So this is fuchsia. Exactly. Now, you see? You think we've got the same mind? Now I understand. What so color I, is this? I should have stayed in, like, now, 30 other relationships. Um, you see what I mean? That's gray, brown. Yeah, see, I would have said tan or sand. Oh, so. yeah, that, that's smart khaki, people shit. Yeah, like, khaki. Or, that's smart people. I that's what I'm like, saying. Like, that's... that. Pure example of something that simple shows wow. you that we really be. That's okay, how you have you to. You drink and I hate drinking. You have to communicate. I don't drink. No more. Woohoo. How many days is this sober? I told you, you get the app. Okay, so let's get into the <laughs> let's get into this show for real. Like you, you know, we gonna give out advice like we always do the mm -hmm. good advice, the hood advice. So if you need to, you need to hit us up if you got some shit going on. You can reach out to us in the DM. Super simple because everybody has Instagram. Yes. Or they're lying about not having an Instagram, which we've seen DMs, that as well. Yes, you got you a are. fence, you got something. But hit us up at at. Bully and the Beast podcast. Yo, I know I got it right this time, motherfuckers. That's the first time. I'm not even going to lie. Nah, Daryl pissed hesitate. me off, yo. You what know happened? what I'm saying? Bitch ass Daryl. Oh, Daryl. Fuck you, Daryl, bitch. You gonna fuck and you up, fuck Darryl. your baby, too. That ain't his baby. That's why you. That ain't his baby. <laughs> fuck man. you and your baby, that's bitch. Why, that's, that's why, that's why your, your boy Justin fucking your fucking girl. <laughs> now. I know Justin fucking your bitch. I know Justin. I know Justin we know Justin. And I he seen told him with that bitch. Because he was talking all that shit. He that's was like, yo, fact. bro, I was, I was fucking his girl. Just don't tell him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling, just my fault. Y'all send you a cash app, nigga. You ready? Oh, send me a cash app, too. I'll take all forms of payment. You know how many baby mamas I got? 
Let me get straight to it. I'm 34 in a relationship Mm -hmm. with a 27-year-old girl, R. Kelly. No, I'm joking. Oh, he's 34 and she's 27? I know, I'm joking. Okay, peace. Okay, that's fine. We've been together for two months. (laughs) Why are you counting? Yo, what's wrong with you? (laughs) You just making it. Because you only got seven... No, seven days of the week, so you just made it. What well, it's a seven year difference. That's what I'm saying. If it's eight, if it's eight, you can't do it. I never heard that before. Yeah, yeah. Seven so like days of the week, seven, you lie. So, so with the, why does that have anything to do with it? Because it's like anything is, is not no more than seven days. So it's eight days, it don't make sense. So why would you have? Something? No, you don't fucking make sense. <laughs> anyway, I'm 34 in a relationship with a 27 year old girl. Yes, we've been together for two months. We are both in love already. Two months being in love? I tell you. That's why I say I want six-month girlfriends, man, and get out of there. Wait, how quick have you fell in love before? Oh, man. Somebody got Like me. love at first sight? Oh, uh, I ain't going to lie to you. On the first day? That was, it's like the first week I was fucked up. Yeah, I was fucked the up the first, first week. The first week? It had me. Listen, I got rid of everybody. <laughs> Everybody, you know, I was a whore. I felt like that happened to me on yeah. the first day. <laughs> the first day, the first day, I felt you like pussy at the same, same day. Well, you one person I fell in love first day. Yeah. Others, like, nah, it took me a while. Cause usually I, I don't like anybody. There. Yeah, me neither. That's why I was like, I just want to fuck you too. And then, <laughs> I, I think the the ones I was liking before, before I actually like got rid of everybody, we just had the best the, the fucking schedule. We had the same fucking schedule. That's all it was. I got horny at three o'clock. They got horny at three o'clock, and it just matched up. I didn't. I'm. I never believed in like, lo, like it's not even like a love at first sight, but love at first day. Like I've never believed in that. But then when it happens to you, you're like, oh, this shit is real. Yeah, this that, shit that, is that real. That means we just accepted each other because you know how many times I was in love with a girl. Like, oh my god, she's I want her so bad, and then she rejected me. It's like fuck her. For real? Nah, yeah, I just, but, it's but, only but happened to me But if she accepted it, oh, yeah, that was love at first sight. Like, oh, shit, yeah. we have the same feelings. No, She's you know what? She's horny, too. I do. I feel like maybe I even might have, like, he. I know he liked me a lot, mm-hmm. but I think I might have saw it before he did. And that is the first time that's ever happened as well. I mean, energy, it was, it's like when his energy is strong towards you, too, your energy goes up, so you start feeding off each other. So you'd be surprised it might be the same. Yeah, probably, cause, but y'all guys are so, like, Y'all hide so much. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Because when y'all nut, it'd be like, ah. When we nut, it'd be like, ah. It's not. Because it'd be like, ah, uh, for niggas too. Depending yeah. on the nigga. Ooh. It's just you. I feel like maybe, like, because you do feel that way. Because you got to the point where you proposed to somebody before. Yes, so ma'am. there has been a time where you nutted and said, ah, oh, so stop fronting. That and that's what the whole problem rah, is. Rah, rah. Yeah, rah. <laughs> but that's what the problem is with y'all it's like y'all don't like to admit things and it's Respect. like we will we'll be I, that's why i said like you could call a bias call it what you want but like i do know girls that are pretty hard up but like for the most part they fell in love before with y'all is like pulling teeth it's like okay i'm in love fuck like y'all you. mad about it i hear you because i know you're gonna do something stupid you're why gonna do, do something everybody does girls something stupid. i know because girls are nasty y'all gonna stick that little <laughs> butt cheek or y'all gonna you know what i'm saying that little nipple gonna slip somewhere y'all just need to have to get that nasty out of y'all nah and, my nipple ain't never slipped till i got a breast reduction now my titties always that, out that, that, now like, it's like what the fuck yes guess what else i like, seen now what? You had some the cheeks just doing all this dumb shit. You Angelo did not see cheeks. no cheeks out. Angelo was sending me that shit. I said <laughs> I did not have no cheeks out. Cheeks out. What, the fuck what do you, you mean, doing? like in a bathing suit? Yes. Oh, that's different. You got in a bathing suit. What the fuck am I supposed to wear a fucking coat over it? Uh, y- yes, ma'am. No, nigga. You got that shawl shit. Put the shawl shit on it. A shawl? Yeah, a shawl. I didn't even know. And first of all, you don't wear a shawl with a fucking baby suit, dumbass. You better. Well, what's, a what's cover the, what's, up. What's, what's them ladies be putting in? Y'all need to be. So I should get in the pool with a cover up. With on. a mummy suit. Okay. What I saw. The fuck is you doing? I said, this girl got panties on outside. A baby suit. A baby suit is <laughs> panties. So, what, what should I wear? Jeans? Like, yes, stupid ass. <laughs> if y'all, oh, you want me to put a thong on? Yes. Nope. <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> I will actually fucking pay for you to put a thong on and go to the fucking beach. Like, I'll, any amount of money, actually. Because, like, this shit is, like, legit would be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. So when do you want to do this? 
<laughs> nigga, I'll buy the ticket for niggas to even pull up. Oh, we going. Up. They pulled up. Bully and the Beast goes <laughs> Mexico. Roll Marley House. We could definitely pull up. As long as you wear a thong and whatever boots you got from Publix. Public boots. Nigga, do you know how you probably, much yo, the they, ratings would go up? For sure. And you know what? I'm going to talk to them about putting thongs inside, men thongs inside okay. the Publix. All right. What uh, color? Fuchsia? Fuchsia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we didn't even get through the motherfucking DM, FYI. Um, <laughs> all right, let me finish it. Yes. I'm 34 in a relationship with a 27-year-old girl. We've been together for two months. Mm -hmm. We're both in love already. Mm -hmm. I lied to her about my age. Okay. Because he's old. <laughs> like, why would you do this? That's what niggas do. I told her that I'm 30. The reason being is that I'm ashamed of my age. And I think I'm too old. Damn, I just called him that. Which he's not too old because I'm the same age around. Listen, <laughs> and it's like. Listen, I get it, but he shouldn't be sweet because of that 27. She was 30. You don't mind saying 34. It's just that seven day thing. That seven no, day it's thing. It's just that you're a liar. You think you're old, so you try to trick somebody into thinking you're young yeah. is crazy. Yeah. But he, he, he want her to think that his meat stand up is still strong, like the little young guys. I mean, she like you for you because you said she's in love. She don't like you because you're 30. I've never, ever said, yo, I really like this nigga because he's fucking 35. <laughs> like, yeah. imagine that. Like, who does I that? I like girls that's, that's like way older because their mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, they don't care about too much. Yeah, but you're not going to be like, yo, I really like her because she's 47. It's like, you like what, a motherfucker. Once somebody say that age, all men know, oh, she just want to put that robe on and get that wine and fuck and get the and go to sleep. See, but that's, that's what I'm thinking. That's she just want to get fucked and go to sleep. She want to fucking my, go to sleep. Nah, my homegirls that are around that age, which I have plenty, and they're all fire. That's and great. I'm thinking about they, they one in, in particular, and she's mm -hmm. lit as fuck. Like, she's, you know, she's There's in the industry. not so many Angela Bassett's out there. Really nah, yeah. she's not even a... Angela Bassett is 60. Amazing. That's what I'm saying. It's not too many of those. It's 47 not, is different. Like, she's still outside. She's still... Like, even with black people, like, we are just different. Yes, like, they showed the picture of the Golden Girls. Them bitches was in their 50s, fam. Did you know that shit? No. 50s yeah. for black people, we lit. Yeah, nigga, fuck yeah, is you talking yeah. about? Diddy is 55. Yeah. Or three. Is he 50? He's 50 He's up is there, all I but, know. Nah, black people, we, we know. Jay-Z is in his 50s. Like, these God mom, that's 50. God. Not the Golden Girls, nigga. That's wow. a big difference. We're also, Even the mom? Girl. Them bitches was 50, fam. No, not the mom. The mom had to be 60 something. But right? still, mama looked like she was a skeleton with your skin on. She it. was a skeleton. She was 60. Nowadays, Angela Bassett is R60. Yeah, she's that's that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Imagine one of them bitches was in a wheelchair and a walker and Angela Bassett outside twerking. What are we talking about? So I like her twerking at 60, though. Yeah, but don't don't put people in a box because of age. You're unless right. they're fucking. Uh, lower than 18 and your ass need to now, be in a box. You, you just thinking about wear and tear. Jail. You just thinking about wear and tear. You know what I'm saying? Um, it ain't wear and tear. Let is. me finish because I ain't All even right, finished. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm too old. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before her, I was in a relationship for four years. Okay. When we broke up, it took me two years to get over it. Why did y'all do that? Okay, we'll get back to that. We never get over it. Yeah, like, yo, why the fuck? Y'all will beat yourself up for years you instead of that. moving on. You shouldn't have We did were that. also... Engage is this is this supposed to be engaged, my nigga? Look at what it say. I was also garage garage. Gage. Gaged. <laughs> Twelve gauge. Yeah, we should have gave you this fucking word. We were also engaged. Y'all know how it go. You see it? We were also gauge. Gaged. We were also gauged. Y'all know how it goes. You think you're going to be with somebody forever, uh -huh. then time just flies by, BYE. <laughs> Poor guy. This is you, X, isn't it? What's BYE? He spelled time flies by and spelled it oh, BYE. Oh, oh. Like I'm saying, this is you writing into us. When I met my current girlfriend, I was shamed. Oh, uh, shame. I love this guy. Who is this guy? I was ashamed of my age, and that's the reason why I told her a fake age. I didn't even know it was going to get this serious. Mm -hmm. I want to tell her, but I don't know how. Can you give me advice or a solution to save my relationship? It's easy. Because I have a feeling she will break up with me if I tell her. I love y'all show. By the way, I got a baby face. LOL. 
You know my friend, this happened to her. Her yeah, guy lied about his age to her, and she didn't find out until she saw his ID. Mm-hmm. Like, something told her to look at his ID, and mm-hmm. it was, like, I guess sitting, which is crazy because I would never think to do that. Yes. And now, because that happened to her, I will. Okay. But, like, she checked his ID, and he lied. Yeah. He lied about his age. But what the, the this, fuck this is, is weird? This is an easy fix. The only thing you got to do is when it's time to tell her, you got to really come into the house all frantic. But go to go to somebody and go get some papers like you've been adopted. And be like, oh, my gosh, I found <laughs> out that I've been adopted. Nah, you, you see what I'm saying? Bucks. And, like, look at this. My real age is really not even my real age. And then, so right that's now. That's not even my birthday. It's, it's not my birthday. So a lot of her about a bunch of shit, like your, your last name and your birthday, like everything. So now when you get everything coming, when you do really get that serious, wait after six months because there's only two. Um Wait to start farting in the bed. But they love each other. Yeah, she ain't start farting in the bed and shit like that. She's holding back her shit. She argued with him a little bit to make him go out, go get her a gift so she could take his shit. You don't even know how her shit smell yet. So Ew. slow down. Wait till around six months. Go get all that paperwork and stuff saying that you got adopted and your real name is actually this. So lie more this. to get out of a lie. That's what liars do. They lie, they steal, they cheat, and they kill. This is a fucking terrible start to a relationship. I mean, listen, you, you don't want to lead. It. Just be honest. Be like, I don't know why I did it. It was so stupid. I'm really thirty. All right. So now, now she's never going to believe you ever again. You know what I'm saying? Because once think a lie, if you what? If you come to somebody and you come clean, that actually is better. Yeah, I think you should never do it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But if you do do it, if you tell the cops, yeah, it's too listen, late. I got nothing in this car, and they're about to let you go. You'd be like, hey, but listen, you know what? I don't want to be a liar. <laughs> Got two keys in the back. I don't think you're going to do that. The, the girl, you need, to, you need to always practice with your girl for the cops. So if you ever tell your girl, you're going to tell the cops one day on yourself. Shut the fuck up. It's all about your 24 hours feeling good that day. So that 24 hours turn into 24 months. And 20 more four months turn into 24 years. How important is age when it comes to a relationship, though? Because... Like, it's funny. Mm-hmm. I never really thought about it that much, but I've always dated people my age range. Like, mm-hmm. never more than three up. years. Like, three years up, three years down. Like, there's never been nothing more than that So in my age range. Yes. And the crazy thing is, like, when I talk to my friends and they're like, oh, I met this guy, I never be like, how old is he? But yeah. people will ask me that about like, <laughs> like if my dude look mad fucking young. So yeah. he's like, how old is? Well, you see, how yep. old is he? Don't he look kind of young? Yes, he looks super young. But that's because he sleeps twenty hours a day. It's oh, fucking yeah, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, wow. We sleep for two hours Literally. and look old as fuck. That's I do. Why. You do. I okay. don't. But like, <laughs> it, but that's how I be. But like. When you think about it, I think about how many times like I've talked to somebody about like somebody I talked to and they be like, How old is he? It's like, why the fuck do you care, bitch? Like Because he look young. That's good. That's just weird though. Like who asked that? I've never asked my friends like how old is the nigga they're fucking with? Unless he look like grandpa, then I'll be like, How old is he? Yeah, or it's already going go around like, yo, this nigga, she got a fucking seventy year old nigga. Yeah. But, that, but that's what it is. Or do they think I'm a cougar? That's why they it's keep only asking right. how old is he? I'm that's, like, we the same age. I bitch. thought you scored too. Yeah. I'm like, yo, Nick and Lori got her a twenty two year old nigga. I look young too. Don't I look young? He twenty two. I look young. Oh, I don't. No, you do. I do look young. He gotta say it. I look young too. <laughs> like for my age, I look younger than my age for sure. Yes, yes, man. So my thing is like, what the fuck are you asking me for? How old he is? Like the age things is so weird to me. I don't, I don't know. But we, 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 we try to do that and see. How would he lie? Because, because of what? I'm not gonna lie. Her, when I first turned thirty, I was still telling people I was like twenty eight. See, I would never Why do that. I'm so happy back. being 39. I, I love weird. this shit. You're listen, 39, I'm you 39, old fuck. And I love it. I didn't know you were 30. You're listen, old. Listen, I'm 39, and I no, no nigga younger than me could do nothing better than me. You see what I'm saying? And I could guarantee 39 that. 39 ain't that old. Yeah, and, I, and I'm still rocking. No young nigga do nothing better than me. I guarantee. But so bring your girl over there. All right, there. so keep it a I bot. do more push-ups than you. I'm going to pull a bar. Like, we early. Keep Talk it a bot. Me. Talk to me. You ever lied about your age? Never lied about my age. Lying. I actually, no, you I actually lying love it. right now. No, listen, I actually love my age. Not even you know to an older woman and tried to say woman, you were no, older? No, because they liked, it, they liked that I was young. And that's what I usually always dealt with. And it was like, I know. Why do I feel like he's lying right why? now? Why? Like, I, I would have to lie to a girl and Ty, tell her. Ty, you ever lied about your age? I don't think 
You That's what I'm saying. Too. I'm so comfortable about when my age. When you were younger, you never met an older bitch and you lied to her about your age. No, you see, you remember my, you know my I situation. lied about my age before. That's what girls do. And I never even had to do that because I never drunk. I always love my age. Yeah. That's what I was like younger or older. Boy, what the hell wrong you with you? You say you were younger? Know, you yeah. fucking pedophile. You nasty, bro. I was just, I was people yeah, people. I told you a 17 year old girl. I was like, fucking 20. Oh, yeah, so you were saying you were 20. That's when you said you were like 28, 29. Ah. Yeah. You know the guy I lost my virginity to lied to me about his age. Yeah. That's yes. crazy, right? But when I found out, because um, we were together for like six months or mm -hmm. longer than that. And then when I found out, like eight, nine months, so I found out when me and him, like, right after we had sex, like, probably that same next week or something like mm -hmm. that. And when I found out, I was, I'm not fucking with him no more. So I cut him off. Yeah, because a liar, you don't know what else he lied Yeah, about. and then I'm like, damn, y'all, I fucking lost my virginity this nigga. Like, that's crazy. He's older than he told me he was. Yeah, that's and how And then... Um, They're better manipulators. Yeah, that was a manipulator for But that's sure. how we look at it. We see a, 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 a Angelo with a young girl. You see what I'm saying? He was Angelo, wasn't he? That's what I'm trying to say. The fuck? No, but that's what I'm saying. We, we see an older guy with a younger girl. We like, ah, right, he's taking advantage of her. We see an older... He was taking advantage of me. Yeah. So if, 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 that's why you was asking about the age difference. So we see an older guy, an older woman with a younger guy. We like, she that's having fun with That's the same thing. No. Nah, she having fun with this That nigga. bitch is taking advantage too. And nah, she, she ain't taking sick. advantage because he, he all right for taking, getting taken advantage of. I'm not going to lie. I never wanted to fuck with a younger nigga. And the only one younger nigga I fucked with like got me like he like preyed on me you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean like and I was just like and Good he lied shot. about his age too yeah. but he said he was older you know what I mean yeah. and I knew he was young but I didn't know he was that you young you ain't care nah I cared yeah I care okay, I'm not, I told you I don't date outside of my age range it just doesn't it never works like that way I think, I think that's the best thing because you are, you got to have some type of something with you like if i know if i got me an older woman i'm her little i'm her little toy i'm her little just because you older don't mean you're more knowledgeable i know people i don't that, care they dumb that's why they got me that's why they could stay with their older fucking i mean man. anybody if they were smart they stay with their dumb. fucking husband who taking care of really love her you know what I'm saying? You over here fucking around with this piece of shit that ass motherfucking black guy who's drilling you. Well, she might you know think you love her. The she like, no, no, no. nigga didn't love her. He just was giving her money or whatever the case. No, it's better than what the fuck I was giving her. But she might have thought you loved her. I guess fun. Fool fuck fun. I guess. No, the worst is when you tell like a woman your age, like, oh, you're just a baby. Man, just a she, baby. She just trying to say that to try to get, get you yeah, souped up. Yeah, that's like so, a, oh, I'm a baby. Bitch, I'm going to fuck this shit. This yet? baby about to fuck the shit Try out of you. Fuck the shit out of you, motherfucker. Give me a shot of Henny. So what you think he should do? Um, I think, that's what I told you. I think he should go ahead and do the, uh, keep on lying. Because you're a liar anyway. So shit, don't, don't fucking not use the lying where you need it. If you're a good liar. That's terrible advice. Listen, if you're a good liar, use it when it's time to use it. No. And this is one of the times you got to use it. If you really love this girl, you got to fix your lie. If you really, yeah, fix your lie and tell her the fucking truth. What? What? She going to know the truth, but you got to put a little fucking icing on it. You want? You want her to? You want him to fucking jam the shit in with no fucking? What's the? Nothing. What's the truth? What icing? What? What does that mean? The truth is icing. Is we gonna still tell her the truth, but we gonna bring it to her a different way. So you are gonna tell her the truth. Make up your mind. Yeah, you we gonna tell her the truth, but we gonna tell her the truth through the paperwork. We're not going to tell her the truth like, yo, I lied to No, that's to you. not the truth. Saying she's adopted, he's adopted is not no, the I truth. No, I found that. You making a bigger <laughs> lie. Like, who the fuck? Then his mother going to be like, no, the fuck he's not. Tyrone, shut the fuck up, bitch. You ain't adopted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you came out this black mama. pussy. That's what she going to say. Because uh, now she know the mama and everything. So you said that's the most worst fucking advice I ever heard. What I'm you need sorry. to do is you need You're to right. be honest. You need to be like, listen, I, it's the stupidest fucking shit Please don't feel no way about this. I know it's a little weird. I, For some reason, I lied to you about my age. I was a little insecure about oh, it. Oh, he got asked. You got to be transparent. I was insecure about it. And let's move forward. Like, And I, I hope you forgive me. If you don't, I understand. But I lied about this. You that's cut it. You Isn't cut that something. Good? That's a slow leak. He that, should be good. No, it's not that's even a slow serious. leak, bro. You got you just put a whole. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, because now I look at you as a liar, but you have to redeem yourself because I also look at you as somebody that has a conscience, morals, okay. and a fucking heart okay. to the point where you don't want to continue to lie. Say, to me. say, I thought you was asking for my blood pressure. <laughs> what are you talking about, Phil? 
What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I thought you was asking for my blood pressure. I thought I didn't know you asked me about my age. Listen, we try. I'm to not get gonna lie. He can also it. say I never told you that. Like, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm not say 30. I'm 34. 34. The fuck? I never oh, you heard you 30. That. You stopped right there? If you lie to somebody like that and you're so convincing, you could low-key make somebody believe that you really told them yes. something else. Like, I've yo, done that before. Yo, you got to do that. Honestly, that's what girls do. That's but, brainwashing. Look, huh, tonight. this is my 33rd birthday. Look at my cake. 33, duh. Nah. Look, pay attention. I've dead ass done, <laughs> not age-wise, but Piece I've dead shit. ass dead, did something like that to the point where I'm like, I dead told you that. And I never told them. And I convinced them that I did. You know, you know what I used to tell people when I know, because I know a lot of liars, it's definitely women. And um, they all I always say, swear to God right now on everything you love. And if you can do that, I don't give a fuck. You got instant Nigga, man upstairs. I'm not gonna lie. I love <laughs> I love God. More I than you. I love myself. But if it's gonna get me out the situation, my ass will cross my pinky toes. <laughs> Swear to God, nigga. And at first, I'll be hesitant. Out. I'm not going to lie. I'll be hesitant at first. I'll be like, huh? <laughs> what exactly you want me to say? They can be like, say swear to God. I'll be like, well, swear to God. <laughs> what, 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 what swear to God, God about? Swear to God. What swear to God about? Swear to God. <laughs> you be like, you, you be trying to say, like, God, I'm sorry, God. I had to get out of that but shit. But yo, if you if somebody swear to God and that person is lying, you you could you could fuck them up. They a piece of shit. No, you could fuck them up for God. But that don't matter no more. Like back in the day, that really meant something, right? Now it's just like it's so like somebody saying your yeah, mama. It's like now I'm punching your face still. Now I'm still still punching your face. Now, but nah, before you had to punch it immediately. Yeah, I hear what you're you get what I'm saying? saying? Like it was. Now, I now you think about it like this, this thing is just like no. Before it's like your yeah, mama. What the fuck is you talking like? It was crazy. Yeah, I, I look at that just as well as like young girls want to make sure they're in relationships and shit. And as as they get older, <clears throat> relationships are cool now. Nah, they, the older they get, they don't want no relationships, man. Why yeah. do you think that? Because I know uh, mostly all the older women. They either, I guess because their man died, right? Shit, yeah. my nigga died before. Yeah, I guess that's shit. And that's what you're supposed to do. Not never fuck with nobody again. Like Lauren London, I be thinking about that shit sometimes too. Like mm -hmm. when they thought she moved on, niggas was really went crazy on her. But yeah, like Nene up. got a whole new boyfriend just like six months after Greg died. Yeah, and man. it was okay. It's like it depends on the person, and that's yeah. kind of fucked up. How fast you get the hill? You should be able to move on. As, how you move on, the person's gone. Yeah, like the person they not coming gone. back. It ain't like they like yo bitch you fucked up. I was just seeing what you was gonna do. Like, nah, and that shit, I don't think people be understanding how that is unless they go through it. You gotta it. go through it. And then you also the gotta remember, just because y'all were together, that doesn't mean it was perfect when y'all was together, too. So, you know, like, with me, with when my guy that died, like, we both was cheating on each other. He had, what? He got a girl pregnant, and, like, he had a baby, and we were together. So, like, he had a baby when he died, and that wow. shit was crazy because, to me, I'm like, Yo, what the fuck? I was with this nigga for four years. I didn't even know about this bitch. You get what I'm saying? And then you, when somebody died, because let me tell you something about that, because that's a double, that's a double weird pain because like mm -hmm. you resent, you feel a way about them because yes. you're like, yo, this is crazy. Like, how could you do this to me? Love but then the you're still the mourning the loss. Yes. So it's like, I couldn't see a picture, but then I was still <laughs> hurt. Like, you get what I'm saying? I couldn't exactly. hear about certain things but like you still hurt so like when somebody pass away like that shit is crazy yes like, that's something totally different and Mixed it's feelings. like depending on the circumstances but i'll tell you one thing <clears throat> i don't know one person that lost somebody that didn't find out a ton of shit once they were gone Jeez. bro Even you know you about to die shoot your phone like, yo, whoa, 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 don't hit me yet. A ton of Bang. shit. But it ain't right. even about, Shoot like, your phone current too. shit. Sometimes niggas be having kids that they been had and didn't say nothing. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Even family members, like, you know, um, like, I just dealt with a death or whatever the other mm, day. Plus. But, like, you find out so much stuff when the person dies, and it's just crazy yeah. because you're like, damn. I found out a bunch of shit. Mad shit. Hey, I found out so, so, so much stuff that affected me. I said, what? Do you get what I'm saying? It's sick. Who is who? I don't know. That's but, not his. That's his brother. That's right. his sister. But that's what I'm okay. saying. Those are all lies, right? When we think about it and yeah. somebody that's hiding something, but it hurts you. So if it's something like this, that's I don't feel like it's that fucking serious, to be honest. Yeah. But now I will say that she's going to look at you like you may be a liar. And that's something you have to turn around. That is something you have to turn around because you are a liar. You go to jail for 30 days or whatever. Don't tell the cops and don't tell your girl. 
Nah, don't keep Mo, lying. Mo, listen, you don't you, you should never have lied so in the first place. Keep lying about his age because he lied in the first place. Lie. Lie. You should don't never lie that. in the first place because right now you gonna you, make it worse. You gonna you gonna, you gonna get locked up? No, you are gonna make it worse if you keep lying. Because now I'm gonna be like, yo, you had every opportunity to tell me. It's been too much. Girls That's is cool. no, because girls is nosy. That's only you only saying that because you want to be nosy because you want to know. Two months is cool. You lied to me for two years about some shit. <laughs> Well, he's a good mother. You need to keep him around because if he can lie to you for two years, he that close to you. I feel like we all like lie, lie to our person that we fuck with about something. Like, even if it's one little what, thing. What's yours? I got a nice one. You think I would tell? Because that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, like, if I'm lying about it, why would I tell you? The fuck? I'm talking about before, not right now. No, but I mean, just period, anything. I still was lying about it, which means they still don't know. Well, I lied and what said I wasn't, lie about? I wasn't watching porn when I was. That's not. Everybody watches porn. Not everybody. I'm not going to lie. I'm never watching porn again. I say that every single time. That shit is gross. I hate it. Listen, I, I was like this the other night, right? It's so fucking Ever stupid. FYI, we gave this person... No not, advice? Yeah, know. I did. I, I told him to... Um, okay, so finish yeah. the story. Um, <laughs> it was either pray and listen to uh, Proverbs or porn. Not the fact that it's Proverbs or porn. I couldn't believe that it was either Proverbs or porn. I looked at myself and I said, I'm so stupid. I said, if you don't fucking get the right the right answer tonight. Porn. God. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I said, God going to tear my ass up if I do the wrong one. Or you're going to tear your ass Proverbs up. You <laughs> <laughs> did you do it? Keep it a buck. Oh, you uh, was on porn. Listen, That's I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. You was on porn. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. I sat there and closed my eyes and start calling Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> After you was... I just start praying and then I press Proverbs and I kept my eyes closed so I didn't even think that I even said anything. So you didn't do anything. I did not do anything and I praise the Lord. Okay. I actually did the same thing last night. <clears throat> Proverbs are porn. And it was, I'm going to Proverbs. Okay, well, anyway, he needs to confront... Like, we both... This is the first time that, like, we've disagreed, but we're extremely disagreeing this time. Yes. So I think you should tell... Get it. Rip the Band-Aid off. If you love her and she, you think y'all going to be together forever. Four years is not even crazy. That's sick that you even lied. That's what I'm upset about. They've been, they've been together for four, two months. Nah, the, yeah, but the four years is what he's lying about. He's saying he's 30 and he's 34. Yeah, it's kind of, he ain't 31. You yeah, know what I'm like saying? It. Yeah, I'm 30, 30. It's half, not even 31. that serious. Yeah. Now, if he was like 50, I could see if he lied. That would be mad fucked up. But you can but see it's that. Like, you can but see you it. lied about stupid shit. That's that's a little scary. Yeah, Cause I'll yeah, be like, yeah. this nigga lying on dumb that, shit. That's what I'm saying. She's seeing his character early. But, but she turn it around need though. <clears throat> she need to know. No, he going he gonna keep slipping up like that. That's who the fuck he is. Nah, that that he's ashamed of his age. Like I I told you before that I I start, I was talking to this nigga and he lied to me about like two different things and I ended up getting past it with him right. Mm -hmm. And we did like he lied about his fuck fucking having Instagram, which was stupid as fuck. And then I, mine is Snapchat. No. And then he lied about his name. You sound like me. I know, because one time <laughs> we were in the studio and my homegirl kept saying, Mike is taking care of me. So I'm like, who the fuck is Mike? <laughs> like mad times. And we told this story before. But she was like, Yeah, because Mike let me in. She's like, No, I'm going down there because I know Mike for mad long. And I'm like, who the fuck is like, and I'm not saying nothing because it's only like six of us in the room. Remember Angela? <laughs> and she was like, yo, Mike got me some pizza. And I'm like, yo, who is this Mike guy? I gotta meet him. And then she's like, Mike, and she's talking to Wax. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? He that she told blowing my that... fucking cover. That's what she does. She, Thanks. no, you knew the bitch, my homegirl. Uh, yeah. You knew her before, and for yeah. some reason you told her your name was Mike. And she, Mike, sure, I, Sean was yesterday. But she was talking to me like I knew who Mike was, <laughs> and that's what was sick. Because she was like, yo, Mike let me in the studio. So I'm like, what? Well, she was like, she was like, what's your name? <laughs> I was over it. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, but then when she found out that wasn't your name, now first of all, you feel stupid because you calling and she calling you Mike to everybody. Listen, I get it. Yeah, I, I, I get called <laughs> Troy, Sean, Paul. Like I was, I'm these this guys. Nigga, yo, this shit sick. I'm these guys, and I don't mind. It's just I don't know who got Nigerian cousins, so I never tell nobody my name. What? Nigerian cousins, what does that have to do with anything? I ain't telling you my name. That's all I'm saying. Nah, I got to call her. No. That's I am. <laughs> I forgot who it was. Hello? What's Wax's name? Jesus. Who? 
What's Wax's name? Um, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call you back. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hilarious, Michael. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? You sick fuck. It's only and right. It's, it's crazy because she just came with me randomly. Amazing. I didn't even know you knew her. I don't know nobody. She don't know you clearly. Nigga, that shit is crazy. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. You ain't supposed to know me. What is wrong with you? Why don't want nobody to know me? I fucking hate you. I promise you. Um. Anyway, let's move on. If you need some advice, all you got to do is reach out and hit us up at... Bully and the Beast podcast. Yero. Okay, my ex wants a threesome. Okay. One with another girl and one with another guy. Come on. Buddy. Yes, I have sex with my ex on the regular. Just wondering if I should open this can of worms. Mind you, I thought this would be the one I would marry. <laughs> we had a small hiccup after being together for five years. Separated and within six months down the line, she gets pregnant. We have amazing sex. So not sure if this will enhance things or ruin shit. Wax, don't let L'Oreal bully you on this. Keep it a buck. Keep it a buzzock. That's impossible. Um, <laughs> so she's saying she got pregnant by the ex again or by another dude? Nah, it's giving somebody else. Yeah, I think it's giving somebody else. But if it, if it's him, either way, she got a baby. But he said ex, he would have said baby. Man. Um, I, I mean, that's kind of wild. How old are y'all? And, um, Who cares? And, and, and it, no, because it's like back in the day... You know what I'm saying? It's like not all the girls is fucking. You see what I'm saying? So if you, you know, you have two guys in the room with a girl or something like that, that means she just bowed it or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, if you still training or having sex with two guys <laughs> at Wait, this so age, you think- like, no, I'm talking like two guys, like you want to be in a room. Angela, I don't want to see that. Maybe it's a fantasy. Like, why do you want to be with two women? Maybe it's a fantasy. Women are way more amazing. They got a whole lot more things. Because you like women and she likes men. That's corny. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got titties. Y'all soft. You know what I'm saying? You don't want these fucking... You got cars outside. Nobody got time for that shit. So, no? No two guys. The two girl thing, yes. No, you can't go both... It's it's one of the... You can't go both ways. But don't boom. Um, it's It's one or the other. Like, either it's all or nothing. I don't want to see. I mean, who's this guy, and why would I want to see him? You don't. It's for her. You said it's for the woman's pleasure. It is for the woman's pleasure, so that's why we bring vibrators. No, she wants two dicks. No. Two dicks and two pussies. You know, you know that one that you sit down and you got the thing that go like this is like the. She don't want that. We need to do something else. I don't want this guy. I want. Am I thinking son. like three somewhat? Like you, like she wants him to suck his dick too. Why she? Yeah, she. Ah, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> What if he touched me? What if sweat touched me or some shit like that? Yo, what the fuck? I'm like, hold on, bro. You His go all the way over there. It's crazy. So it got to be like I'm smashing and you you getting head, or I mean we switch like that. But it's like I mean she's really ultimately got to be the one to call the shots because she's the one that wants it. Yeah, what's she like? I want one of my dick, one of my uh, one of my uh, ass, and one of my pussy. It's not me. I'll be like this, fucking in the ass. I know you would. That'd be out of control. <laughs> Like, we see y'all kiss. Y'all two I'm kiss. Joking. That's what we do. We like, I wouldn't do right, that. I would see y'all kiss. I would never do that. Into. I promise you, I would never do that, but that's funny. Um, but what, what if you have somebody and they say that? They'd be like, yo. I couldn't take two dicks. I don't know what she's doing. Like, I'm no, I don't judge anybody, but if I think about it, like, I watch porn like that, and I'm just like, this is amazing. Like, this bitch is really. Because, like, once you're back here, you have to focus on that kind of. Like, that's like a lot. So like that's why sometimes like with gay guys, I'm like, yo, y'all the y'all the shit. Literally. Yeah. yeah. But um no, y'all the shit balls. because that shit ain't easy. All like and it's like a, it's a certain y'all know how you fuck bitches in the ass or cause I know some guys don't like that. I mean, I don't know if it's don't like it. It's like You it's, do it here and there. I mean Or you do it often. <sighs> I don't know what that means. Too big? No. <laughs> like, definitely I don't not know. too big. Because you just showed it's, it's your just, arm. So I mean, like, I, no, no, I, guess, I guess it's all the girls that I know just don't like it. Or they really? Just, yeah, yeah. Not but, one? So you don't do it? Uh, I I tried it plenty of times. I ain't going to lie to you. you know and, I'm saying? It's, just a, it's just a different hole to, me, to a guy. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Nah, it's right. different. You don't fuck with it either. That's so crazy. I mean, if, if a girl rocking and she like, I put it in my ass, I'm not going to be like. Oh, I don't do that. 
Like, it's a fucking girl. Okay, so <laughs> you know then you saying? do it and you're just like, it's just regular, like fucking it, it, it don't go down. It usually don't go down. It's the same old dumb shit. You there for mad long. Trying to get it in. Yeah, trying dollar. to get the shit in and all this type of shit. Lay on your stomach. Yeah, you know I mean, you try it that way. You just bend over. You know it's so like, crazy spit, because. Spit, mad spit. You dry ass mouth now. You know what I'm saying? It's funny you say that because I promise you my whole entire life, I'm like never, do, I'm not fucking with that. Mm-hmm. And then like it'll be a person that you'll be like, oh shit, it works. Like, it, it worked. Like it yeah, worked. Yeah, and like yeah, it yeah, worked yeah. and then you, because my one homegirl used to swear by that. Shit. No, no, I, I got some that's like, that yo, story, how like, is she on that like that? Like, that don't feel good. And then I got it. <laughs> I was like, no, bitch, you was on to something. Like, bitch, you He's were on, on it early. Yo, you were, you were on, on it early. early. So, yeah, it's, I just think some people, like, even with sex, like, you just don't mesh. Yeah. Like, I feel like it got to be a particular that, this, The thing. asshole got to open up, too. You know what I'm saying? Well, they the got to be comfortable. Yes, yeah, got to be very comfortable. Your asshole got to open up. They ain't gotta I think you got to be really drunk the first couple times. <laughs> The drunk is the main thing. Like, you got to be OD drunk the first couple of times. I mean, a couple of times I did it. Like, I try to do it, warm it up and try to put the vibrator in the ass while you fucking them in the back and shit like that. You, you love a toy. Saying? But listen, you it helps you out. You got toys than motherfucking F.A.O. Swartz. No, it, just, it brings the girls' motivation. Girls want to explode. All that dude's like, I made her come. Girls want to orgasm. Fuck all that coming shit. Like, I mean, I'm not, not fuck all that coming shit. I'm like, ain't that the that, same? That, no, 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 no. Coming and orgasm isn't the same? No way. What's the Girls difference? come all the time. Orgasm, you want that explosiveness, their whole face like change and they look at you like fuck you, I hate you. And uh, you know, they, they get an explosion and then they go cook. If she don't want to do nothing for you, you ain't you only made her come. But I really forgot what I was gonna say. I, I know, because you always do. I thought that coming and orgasms was the same thing. Nah, I'm coming is is a totally different thing. I'm coming is cool. They could they could handle their cum. They cannot handle that orgasm. They're out of control. They locking up. They shaking. They doing some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you not if you making a girl come, she could hold it. Uh, I'm nothing. Yeah, it's the same fucking thing. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, well, I'm getting lied to. They great actors. You're so funny. Um, so what's the solution? Well, I told you like five, ten seconds ago. What, what is that? You don't remember what the question was. <laughs> she doesn't remember what it was. You'll know it either. Two guys, two girls. Oh, Nigga, oh what's no, up? I mean, I, don't, I mean, like I said, if y'all young, let's go, go ahead and do your thing. They're you not even mean? together. No, I'm just talking, I mean. But that's still. what I'm saying. Like, that's not even really his bitch. So it's like, why not? Just do it's it. It's all about me to have another guy in the room when I'm smashing. He's fine like, with it. It's different. He's like, considering it. You might as well just do it. I hear you. But back in the day when we used to do it, I never even knew. But you did it before. Yeah, I never even knew too many gay guys. I ain't going to lie to you. So were when you, I was doing so it you back felt, in the day. you feel like you're gay because you No, had... I found out that a lot of my dudes, stop. I found out that a lot of the dudes that I grew up with in high school, even though he was married and stuff, I found out they was liking guys and stuff. So now it's like, hold on, motherfucker. I did so with a girl with this dude before. Was he looking at my meat? You see what I'm saying? So now it's like, I'm not doing <laughs> no, that shit no more. I don't know who fucking like guys now. But you've not. done it, is the point. No, I have. I, that's what I said. I have done okay, it before. But when I was it. younger, so that's what I'm saying. If y'all younger, y'all don't know. You know well, what they saying? were together for, <coughs> excuse me, for five years. Mm -hmm. He looks fairly young in this picture. Not, I, I'll say like 30s. He's a, he's a DJ. So 25. He's a DJ. Okay. Um, from this picture, he doesn't look like a bad looking person. And to be honest, I think he just needs to go on and fuck the nigga with the nigga. I mean, with no. the <laughs> <laughs> fuck the nigga fuck with the, the bitch. <laughs> with the bitch with the nigga. Nah, bro. If you could avoid, if you a certain age, like I say, you're in your thirties, stuff like that. You don't know who is who. If a guy, you call one of your dudes, like, yo, you want to fuck this bitch with me? I mean, I'd be like. Oh, no, ah. I would have to pick the guy if I was her. If I'm going to agree to take two dicks, I'm picking both of them. It's not going to be I got to see what you on. If you look at that, be like, yo, yo, Wax, let's go fuck this bitch together. I'm like. Oh, so like, you got to pick the nigga. Hold on, Wax. No, no, it's not you that I got to pick, pick the, the dude. Nigga? No, not, I got to pick the dude. It's like, I'm asking you why you want me to come in there for you to be I want moaning. you to come in there. That's why. That's what she like, wants Is this guy, is her pussy must be so <laughs> trash that, bro, you're not going to moan? You're not going to be like, oh, shit. What do you mean be... trash? Because if you, you fucking, like, the man ain't saying nothing at all. 
I don't want these niggas hearing me motherfucking moan and shit. How you be moaning? I, <laughs> I don't know. I do feel like guys be trying to keep their little grunts. You got in. to. You got to. Y'all be really OD trying to we keep. We cannot y'all, let y'all. I mean, really y'all know how let this shit out a little bit, but like you can hear y'all fighting the shit back, and it's mad funny to us. But like y'all, okay. for the y'all, most y'all part, try not to. Yeah, y'all we, try not to. Yeah, but then, so you nuts. let something out. How does it sound? I gotta hear this. <laughs> I got to hear this. I don't know. How does it sound? Do it. I don't even know. Be honest. I, I'm trying to think of me. Yo, stop sex. being shy because it looks see. like you get getting shy. Let me see. What, like, all right, um, some shit felt OD good. What is the noise you making? Because, listen. What like, is the noise? Like you said, we what always try to noise? hold it back. So it just be like. <sighs> <laughs> like, yo, you wilding. <laughs> Why do y'all do uh, that? Just because us, and we, we, we cannot scream like, like oh, oh. Imagine us like that. I that wish I would hear crazy. one of these motherfuckers in that there would be screaming crazy. and shit. Like, Yo, that would fuck? be kind of crazy. All right, so what if, what if you are one of them dudes? I don't even want it. What if my dude one of them dudes, his, his meat is mad sensitive, and he over here like, oh, my God, yeah, baby. Yeah, what's my name? You love me? I love this pussy. Yo, bro, I'm really and not here for bitch. this. And it's your bitch. And it's your bitch. And it's your bitch. She over here like, oh, it's the best thing I've ever had. That's the best thing I've ever had. What the fuck you gonna do? You think your Miko fucking I'm get crying. hard? I'm crying. This shit is bad, funny. Oh, so so you gotta make the rule that nobody can moan. <laughs> Definitely, no compliments, no but moaning. even her, it all depends on who 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 uh, girl she is. Because like you said, if I'm fucking this girl and it's his girl. And she over here like going crazy, like and then he he in there. She over here just like thinking about fucking shit. It's gonna be a fucking problem. So what would be the rules? Cause you know how sometimes like with you gotta girls, talk to her. No, I'm talking about for you. Like say you were to accept this, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like with girls, they'd be like, all right, cool. We're gonna have sex, but you gotta wear a condom if you're fucking her. And you can't eat her pussy. You can't kiss her. That's peace. I'm what down would with be that. your rules if you agreed to to letting her have two niggas? You gotta say, listen, baby. If this nigga meet bigger than mine and make you feel even better, you better act like mine bigger. bigger. <laughs> you better act like mine is better. Why would that be what? <laughs> that's what niggas gonna do. And that's that it. we'll talk to you. Come here, girl. Listen, this be this is me and you. We gonna stay together in my pride. This is still about my pride though. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Even though the other guy is there, it's just for your pleasure. I'm here for your pleasure, but we still gotta build my pride at the, at the same, same, same time. You see what I'm saying? I can't be all over about here. you. Yeah. No. 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 It's not. So all you about don't me, care if she, she sucks his dick. <laughs> Eats his ass, any of that shit. Ooh, well, that's why I left your nasty ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all not together. This is just a bitch you fucking. Now she's just a bitch I'm fucking. I mean, that is on the regular, he said. I'm just not his baby but mama. But at one, no, that's not his child. And mm. at one point, because he would have called to his baby mom. And at one point, he said he wanted to marry her. Is what he said. That's what I'm saying. So that's, that's his girl. That's to, his girl. I thought I was marrying a nigga before too. Fuck that nigga. Like he's nah, not. Nah. Anybody not I, I was about to marry. Shit. I don't want the next nigga up in there pounding her and she's like really enjoying that shit. I mean, you fucking her too. I hear you, but it's, and y'all I'm fucking, fucking her for my pride. Fucking I'm not a fucking bitch. her. I'm not fucking her for my for it to feel good for me. I'm fucking her for my pride. So now we just over here just having fun, like ah, whatever, and some other shit. Whatever, but if this is girl is mine. If this is mine that built my pride, this is not an Uber. This so is my car. So the only rule <laughs> is that your dick, you don't want his dick to be bigger. No, nah, it's just, I, <laughs> it ain't about his dick being bigger. It's about her enjoying it more. So she's like, oh my God, oh, I love this, my dick daddy, and all this other type of <laughs> dumb shit. I sound dumb, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just you saying, do. but you know what I'm saying. She's like, oh, this is the best I ever had. When she started talking like that, because y'all can't control what the She's fuck y'all saying. She's never going to say that in front of you. No, You bitches, cannot control no what the fuck. No bitch is going to do that. Shit. No, but she's well aware enough to know not to say uh, no shit like that, that. Listen, y'all cannot control, because the shit that y'all be saying we during sex. We definitely can control. So y'all, why y'all be lying during sex Sometimes then? we exaggerate. A lot of times. Come on, talk to me. A lot of times we acting like that shit is fucking crazy and we probably don't even feel no way. Fuck yeah. It's like That's a, why we do the same thing. It's like an automatic thing. It's I don't just a know thing to do, right? Yeah, it's like a thing it's just, like, just like my, yeah, right there. That's not really not right there. So for real, it don't <laughs> be right there? <laughs> no. It's what are you doing? It's right there because then y'all niggas be quick to. So, so you telling me when y'all be like, oh, right there, right there, right there. It don't be right there? Sometimes. Man, y'all are some bull. 
shit. Sometimes it be right there and sometimes it ain't Because guess what? When, when y'all give us head off fast, we'll be like, go to my boss, go to my boss. That means I'm about to nut, motherfucker. Nah. Yo, this nigga is stupid. Nah. <laughs> so, so what was the ending result for his uh, advice? Um, uh, Like I said, unless you want to find out that this dude, uh, like men, five, ten years later from now, I don't think you should do it with the guy. But the girl, like you said, like L'Oreal said, it should be rules in that. Let the girl pick the girl. Um, let them have so much fun. Let them go ahead and make each other orgasm real fast. And then you step in like you you save the day. And light the fire out. That's the best threesomes, man. Because once, once you try to get in there and try to start with the woman, you're going to nut fast as hell. You got two. You got to take care. This is like jumping in the car and going real fast. You know what I'm saying? I learned my lesson a long time ago. Let the girls in there play with each other and warm each other up till they're about the orgasm. And then you come right in like... And then now you the big man. It's all about your pride, baby. Don't nut early and you're still horny. You like the He-Man Women Haters Club. All by yourself. Why? What you mean? I just helped the woman out. Okay. This is a man that we're talking to, though. This nigga out of the dick. He'll be all right. Yeah, I think he wants to do it. So just go ahead and live your best <laughs> Look at this other man, me. <laughs> Don't even worry about the nigga. It's about her. She's like, you trying to please her. That's the point. Right. And y'all probably still going to end up married and she got somebody else, baby. Now, let's talk about word on the street. Javante, his girlfriend, Nessa, well, his baby mama. Shout out to Nessa, too. I fuck with her. That's Mess my girl. Uh, apparently, he's claiming she put shit on his toothbrush from the, <laughs> <laughs> from the baby's diaper. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll tag you it. I said, listen, she must be one of the callers that called in. You definitely do shit like this. These definitely. Clip, this, that fucking shit clip just keeps going viral. Everywhere yes. last week that shit was. It's holiday time. It was some Spanish niggas. They was talking about, they was like, yeah, the girl and the guy. And <laughs> fucking Wax and L'Oreal. Don't ever fucking yes, play Yes, Wax and L'Oreal, man. How you say it in Spanish, Angelo? Because they probably don't understand. Muy bien. No, <laughs> not Spanish. Muy bien E2. Oh, Twerk is a fake Spanish person like me. <laughs> I'm Spanish half. But I don't know shit. You, don't, you can't speak Spanish? Puta. Marigón. Wax. Gloria. <laughs> yeah. Get it right if we're going to talk about our fucking show. Man. Anyway. And, 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 and we, we look, y'all, y'all got a bunch of views and all that type of shit on y'all shit. Like, come That's on, lit, family. though. Shout out to them. No, no, no I, I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I, I followed their page But get our motherfucking name right. the name right. It's all about respect, family. Because for real, like, I do a lot of research, and I could have said y'all name, but I'm not going to because y'all ain't say ours. And I know y'all name. <laughs> Yo, you're sick. <laughs> All right, so um, what's the most foul shit that's ever happened to you from a bitch? Don't tell that puppy story, my nigga. I swear to God. Yeah, I, I'm L'Oreal. I swear to God, don't tell that, that puppy story. That stung me on just God. now. On God, don't that tell that puppy story. That stung me just now as soon as you said it. That shit I'm still hurt about, me to the day. Nah, I'm talking about something that violates your personal property. Don't fucking talk about the dog. All right, L'Oreal, I, the only reason why I want to see the dog, right? No! Can listen. You to stop telling no, the listen, L'Oreal. Story. I because. Hate this story. That fucking dog cost me, and I I, 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 I couldn't pay rent that month because I paid for that fucking expensive-ass dog. So that dog did all that, and then I had to drive the dog all the way from Carolina all the way out to motherfucking Jersey. Excited the whole time. I'm over here like, oh, every time I went to the, the, uh, to the rest stop or something, I, I bought the dog something. I mean, a little collar, a little dog bowl. You know what I'm saying? I even got it engraved. The bitch shitted on you. Where's the dog again? I don't even fucking know what that she dog gave, is. You gave it to her? Yeah, I gave her the dog. Stupid. Something I, I, I that a woman has back. done to violate your personal stuff. <laughs> what that was? Nothing. Uh, Nobody's ever fucking slashed a tire. That, I feel oh, that like was light. You of all people, yes, it seems very yes, unbelievable yes. that you didn't get your fucking house burned down. No, see, um, a girl... Like that hurt your soul. Like what That was hurt the, my soul? Yeah, that some bitch did to you that you was okay, like... Okay, for two weeks straight... In college, I had, I had my car. Okay. I switched it up, had my truck, or had my motorcycle. And when I drove my car, fuck my car up. How? Busted windows, <laughs> flat tires, paid all my shit. All of that? Yes. Truck. Bust my back t- my back window out of my truck. They let me put park my tr- my bike on to uh, next to the police station, <laughs> <laughs> so the cops can watch. Not my the shit. police station. Man, I come back. They all had a game, so I come back late. I usually leave at a certain time. Yeah, I went to the game. Come back, my fucking tire slapped. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do that? You I, I don't even know. I don't know if it was her or her boyfriend. 
I don't even know who uh, they are. You was fucking somebody else. I shit. have in college. I don't even who these pass alongs. We didn't know this. You don't really belong to nobody. So for in a whole week, and nobody ever claimed it. No, 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 no. For two weeks. Now after that, it was like it died down. So the cops, yeah. was, the cops was on it because now it's like is a charge. I would be pissed. That's, that's vandalism. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't do that. that's a charge. You fucking somebody shit up. Yo. How'd you get the paint off? I did, and I, I, I had to get everything done over, and my windows was costing me so much fucking money because I was getting a guy to come, and they had to redo it, so I had to pay deductible every time to get me new fucking oh windows. God. Yeah. Damn. So, yeah, that was that was the, one of the worst I've times. only ever done that to one person. Has, you know, I had an abusive Learned. relationship. And that was though. hard. I mean, yeah, I but guess. it was an abusive relationship, so I kind of looked at it like... Window shields? That was my get back. Like Bent the car up. Flat the tires. Yeah. Leave them window shields alone. Nah, the back I kicked one. that nigga door in one time. That's the cool. Door. That's, that, nigga that's kicking the, the, the mm, door mm. in a Bentley. They, 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 they got the thing. Nah, they got no, the thing. No, it was bad. It was bad. They got the pool. Them window shields. It shield. was bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I did the window shield. Fuck shield. the side windows. And you know how you can easily break it? You take your cell phone and you just throw it at it and it'll just shatter. I got something better. That's what I, I did. can tell you later on, but... Um, Really but that's if you don't have anything on you. All I did, because I was so mad. I said, set this, set this, set this. Boom. And I threw the fucking phone. I wasn't even trying to shatter the window shield. And then it did. It was it. a I window was like, shield? Yeah, I was like, oh, shit, I did it, Joe. Well, that, you threw a motherfucking hard as hell. Don't hit nobody, L'Oreal. Shit. I don't even think it was that hard. I just threw it. I don't think it had a case. So I think it was just like the contact. <laughs> it yeah, just window shields, it. back window, window shields is fucked up. And then on the... On the back windows, they're so hard because you got to get it back right because they're up and down. I didn't think about the back window. Oh, my God. Leave them alone. No, nah, because the nigga violated. Like, alone. I fucking put down the the thing. What you call this? The shades? Yeah, I put down this with the mirror in it. Yeah. And I, Visor. Visor. I put down the visor. I went to look at myself, and it was a kiss. It was a kiss in the oh, thing. Oh, L'Oreal. So I, exactly. I, I you was like. You say it was a Bentley? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they do when they, when they first buy it. The kiss thing be up there. That's everybody's <laughs> shit. You see how fast well, that was? So Why I did, did he tell you that? I did it to a Bentley. I did it to a Range Rover. They was both his cars, but like I fucked those shits up. But then. They both had when, the kiss. But when I found out, no. Oh. That was something else. Like he got caught doing something. But um, <laughs> one time I found out some shit. Because I stayed with him behind that. Like, mm -hmm. I still was with him. Okay. And one time I found out some shit in this one. I left him. I broke every TV in the house. And, like, it was just a mess. That's what I'm saying. Leave the guy stuff alone. No, I don't do. Like, that was when I was younger. I don't do shit like that no more. You do some shit to That's me, what I'm, I'm saying. Out. Cars, TVs. You know what I'm saying? I broke the nigga's the glasses. Dog. Leave you my dog break alone. You glasses and, and yeah, PlayStation. Yeah, you my glasses. Not, not Tear PlayStation, my belts Xbox. Up. Yeah. I took the Xbox shit, fucked that up. Yeah, you know what the hit. Yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I hit. do. I be like, what's the most important thing, nigga? But I violated. Like, he had mad bottles Cars. of champagne, like Cristal. <laughs> I fucking just poured them shits down the fucking drain. You just mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got him. That, that's that's like that's like a guy going to a girl. You, we'll call him a bitch ass nigga if he fuck with your wigs. If he, fuck, you know what I'm saying? I don't wear wigs. If, no, I'm just saying any girl. Like, if a guy going to into a girl shit and f grab all her makeup. And grab her wigs, bro. You a bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So you calling me a bitch ass nigga? You did that to a girl. You took no, her because her you're her. saying you're like comparing it. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. You did some <laughs> fucked up shit. You don't okay, do that. Whatever. Certain things you leave alone. So we'll move on. Yes. But putting like shit. How you know it was shit from the baby diaper? Oh, but yeah, wasn't I talking about the shit? Um, no, we're yeah, done she, talking about yeah, shit. Yeah, she uh, must have heard. We're from moving us. on. That's okay. Great. Um, last but not least, let's talk about French Montana. So mm. he was doing a video shoot in Miami and they shot like 10 motherfuckers. Damn. And it happened after somebody got robbed for their watch, their wallet, and their keys. They said that the dude came over and was like, yo, um, after he got robbed, he was like, yeah, let me, he wanted to call his mother because I guess she had the spare to his car. Because mm. like maybe they didn't know what car was his, so I guess they, and when he went to ask, they said that. Niggas just started spraying shit up, but they only shot 13 times. Let me tell you something. Whoever was shooting was they, trying, they, they to yeah, trying to and get everybody. And because think about how many times we heard things like, oh, it's 50 shots and they got shot in the leg. Two. Two people. Two people you know got saying? shot in the yeah. leg. You shot this 13 times and you knew who you was looking for. It had yeah. to be you wanted to hit everybody. Yeah. So 10 people got shot. Nobody died, though. Um, Praise the Lord. Which is, yeah, which is Thank good, God. which is amazing. But the sick part is, 
these motherfuckers should have been running with YSL because nobody knows who got shot. Nobody's talking. Mm -hmm. They don't even know if French got shot. And this wow. is his video shoot, but they are saying that the rapper from New Orleans by the name of Rob 49 okay. or Rob 49, I, don't, I never heard of him before this, but mm -hmm. supposedly he's like buzzing out there. So hopefully he's good because yeah. they said he got Present shot. For everybody. Yeah, but it's just crazy because like, I'm not going to lie, I don't know about you. First of all, you in an area that's not really all that uh, so, area you need to be in with mad jewelry and shit. But at the same time, like nowadays with all the shootings and the this and the that, low key I see artists only in the station. I don't even want to be around y'all niggas yeah, because it's too it's dangerous. Too much. And I mean, it's been dangerous. I've it's been in situations, been you know. Yes, yes, I've sure. been in situations where I, my my life was at risk many a times being around artists, mm -hmm. and many a times. Like brushes with death, yeah, scary yeah, ass yeah, people shit. People think that shit is light. That's not nah, a that light shit, life. Nah, that shit, nah, shit. That guy, I, that shit still bother me. Certain shit, you know what I mean? Like, because you, you act like shit don't matter, but mm -hmm. like you pass me in a certain kind of way, and give me like PTSD a little bit. We brush that shit off. But like, what the fuck is niggas doing? Like, I don't understand. I get his security and stuff is there, and that's what we say. Your, your security yeah. are cool, but why are we in the hood with all this shit if we already know what's going on? I don't, I don't know why people are always trying to give Floss the benefit in front of the doubt. Of niggas, yeah, like. that's all you're saying is na 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 na. You know what I'm saying? These dudes are hungry. Don't do nothing right before holidays, during holidays, or right after right holidays. Right after holidays, right? Them three, th that, that section right there from Starving. November to February, after Valentine's Day, because now he don't give a fuck no more, because that's when the women and the kids put all the pressure on you. November to February. That's a fact. Pressure for a man. He's going to go out pressure there and for, do it. For for anything. I mean, yes, yes, because now... Because bitch is doing shit, too. Yeah, they are. You know what I'm saying? Because, that I mean, the dude is not there, so now they have to also keep that heat on. It's cold. They got to sit there and make sure the kid have a, a present for a Christmas. You know what I'm saying? She got to make it... Bitches make are setting niggas up for Christmas, All nigga. day long. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to just be girls offer me some fucking pussy that I never thought was going to give me... They just they needed a gift. I'm not going to lie. All, every single guy that I ever talked to in the past five years... Hey, big head. ...has hit my fucking phone. <laughs> And I'm like, or my DM or my whatever. And Checking I'm just in. looking. The sick part is, like, you know, I used to be the type of person that would keep in touch with my exes, like, because we all had, like, some kind of relationship. Like, I was cool with any nah. of them. And not even exes. Like, people I used to talk to because I only consider certain people, like, relationships. Mm -hmm. But, like, now it's, like, beat it. Like, there's nothing we need to talk about. Yeah. No, nothing. Not one. Nothing. I can't think of one that I have anything to say you to. Meeting, you, he had a meeting you, and you think you're going to talk to him, and you got you serious with somebody else? How that person going to feel? Yeah, but it's not even just about that. You could be friends with an ex, though. Yeah, he smashed, though. So it's like, I mean, if you, it all depends on how serious you is with this guy. You how much you let this go? You can't be friends with your ex? Life is about balance. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean with that? If, if you that guy is still there, <laughs> your relationship is like this. If you want the balance, you want to keep it balanced so y'all can be able to play an even feel. That other guy is going to put too much weight on that side. He's going to be unbalanced. You'll be cool with your, your uh, significant other being cool with their ex? No. No way. Everybody's saying no. For what? For what? Like, y'all not, not googly eyes in? Nah, what if you cool with him too? What if she like... I ain't cool with this nigga. Anybody who put that meat <laughs> in you, nigga, I don't like this nigga. I don't even like the doctor who smacked you in the ass. What if it's a nigga you was already cool with <clears throat> and there was some old shit and it's like over? Once I, once, the more I fall in love with her, the more I hate you, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm thinking about, yeah, damn, I, she, I she, she gave so me too. head, then she gave Albert head just like this. Maybe she you never gave him head. <laughs> yeah. Why is she sucking my dick like that then? Because she loves you. I'm Mr. Lucky. She didn't love Albert. I'm Mr. Lucky again. It's plenty of people whose dick I didn't suck that I fucked with. Now, Albert? Albert said I ain't good, suck man. Albert's dick. Yeah, Albert ain't Everybody, no did you fucking eat every pussy you fucked? It all depends on what area, what stage of life I was in. So you did eat every pussy you no fucked? No way, I can't. That, so what the fuck is, why are you assuming the, she the fucked meat, up? The meat is different. That's like. No, it's not. That's like saying. No, it's not. L'Oreal, meat is, you, you gotta look at uh, pussy as the bread a, on a hot dog. And, dick sucking and a, was and the most dog. foul thing you could say to a bitch you for years. You gonna always eat the hot dog. Right it, it, regardless of bread or not, the pussy is bread. You might, we ain't gonna always eat bread with nigga, the hot dog. You grab the hot dog before it's ate it. You always gonna eat the hot dog. Nah. Girls always gonna give head. 
if niggas say that they eat pussy, you just eat pussy. But especially back in the day, you'd be like, yo, she sucked my dick. That bitch sucked dick. Like, it's like a You bitch. ate my pussy. He's like, oh, nah, so you open your lace for this nigga. Bad. It you don't, just... because now you still being nasty. You ain't supposed to open your lace for this nigga. Anyway, we nasty. moving on. Uh, shout out. <laughs> we got to do black excellence really quickly. Yes. Shout out to my girl, SZA. SZA. She got her number one album. And we are so hype for her. Like, this yes. album is fire. Definitely. I've been playing Brett Fires and the Drake and 21 album. But when mm. SZA's album came out... I had to put them on pause and let her rock for a second. Dope. And uh, she's definitely doing her thing. Also, we want to give a big shout out to Lorna Murd- Murdoch, Madoc, okay. sorry, who is the Marine Corps first black female two star general, which is a wow. humongous deal. Wow. So big shout out to her. So she calling shots. She calls the motherfucking shots and she'll shoot your ass. Why too. she shooting me? I'm she'll the nice shoot guy. Your ass to be exact. And we're going to get into our last segment of the show, and that's Wax's ABCs. Wax's ABCs. Now, you know how it goes down. We got a word for Wax. He's going to use it in a sentence. He's going to define it. He's going to tell us what that motherfucking word Mm -hmm. is. And today, the word is A-K-A-R-Y-O-T-E. What the fuck is that, Wax? Uh, I see Ak Ariyoti Sig Karaoke Karaoke uh, Atari No It's Ak Ariyoti Yote is a note that um, that Ak sent to R. Say the word. Ak R Yote. Ak R Yote. Ak R Yote. Okay, and what's the definition? Ak R Yote is um, is uh this dude. He's he's yoke he yoke, you know what I'm saying he like bulky and shit. You know what I'm saying? So he's, uh, he, he, Aki. You know what I'm saying? They call Aki and Yoki the same thing. Aki, like, you know, like. Yeah, he, Aki. Um, he, Aki. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Aki, okay, Aki kind of Yoki up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is just somebody who just asking a question. So it should have like a question mark behind this one. So they like, is he Aki or he Yoki? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's Aki Yoke. Okay. And use it in a sentence. All right, um, I came on the block, went down 18th down Linden. You know what I'm saying? We used to always do the, uh, we always used to always do the pull-ups on the, um, on the on the light pole, and one of the young boys, some people, I'm I'm old school, so I was called, oh he yoke, nah, and the other dude was like, yo he act, so <laughs> I'm like, oh, he act he yoke, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? What happened? That's not it. Twerk, please tell us what the fuck that word is. Yo, something is really it's wrong with you, yoke. bro. The word is a cario, and it's a cell without a nucleus. <laughs> ah. Close. It's kind of good. <laughs> if you think it about it. It wasn't. It kind of definitely sound like what he said. It doesn't. And when they was doing pull-ups, they need some... Um, some Cells. Uh, yeah, he needs some cells. It's like you're in a cell. When That's you what you need, up. the solar. All right, we out of here. Bully and the Beast podcast. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we'll see you next week. Where's my shirts at? Bye. You ain't got no fucking shirt. <laughs> 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 no.